And it's Snow Hood 420 back with the Novgorod campaign. This is part 13. We are going to make a, a really strong push on uh, Kiev here today after we wipe out Lithuania. We have our army ready to go. It's going to come over here and do the job. Finish this off. Um, not too worried about any of that business that comes over there. We might have a chance for mercenaries once we get off of our territory here. But I think we've got the army. This is uh, pretty good. So we're going to have a lot of aero power, a lot, a lot of muscle. And then we're going to hold. I think I might try and maybe try and boost in relations with uh, Poland here so I don't have to worry about them. And maybe also with Hungary, we'll see. Or maybe we'll just not try and uh, we'll just try to avoid them at all costs. But then I'm going to put the major effort into going south all through Kyiv down through the Black Sea and take Constantinople and whatever else I need to finish off this campaign so we can have a victory under our belt and know that the medium difficulty is, well, it's medium difficulty and I'm more accustomed to playing on the hard difficulty prior to the stainless steel which is supposed to boost in that difficulty level so that's why I'm going for medium. But I kept the battle difficulty at very hard maxed out because, well, we assume we've had lots of success, not worried about that. Um, pretty confident in my battle tactics, or at least even going in, keeping the army that I'm comfortable with going into any fight, so I am have the highest advantage on my favor. So we got what we're going on, we got the spy, we got all the information I think I needed from these places. They've got nothing. There's some, there's an army somewhere. There's obviously an army somewhere that's just not in a tactical defensive position for them and most likely because they don't think I'm going to attack them. Well, they're wrong, right? They are wrong. So we are definitely doing that. We are, we've got lots of stuff here between, well, not that place. We got this and Minsk right here and Vilnius won't be needed. We can even leave this as a buffer for Poland to take this. They have room to expand. So they're not right up on our border, not even concerned about them. Hopefully they are concerned more about central Europe. And uh, we have this expansion, this expansion, this expansion, four through Kiev, five, we might fight the Cumans, six, we got these places down here, seven, eight, nine, and that's, we were already at nine, and you can see how we're very quickly going to be getting up to that 25. So I'm thinking everything is kind of on the move already, um, I think we set ourselves up for the turn flip, we do <coughs> have enough to play defense over here. We are just going to stay playing defense on this human side until we have to take those lands. So that's not top priority. Moving south will be the priority. So I think I'm just going to flip. I don't even care what agents are doing what. I know we have this guy we're trying to kill. It's not going so well. Our priests are, uh, well, I, I don't know what they're, you know, they're trying their best. So we're just going to move. If there's something I didn't move, it's uh, not the biggest deal. Maybe a diplomat. Yeah, hopefully he's... I got stuck. Well, another one. There we go. Move it along, people. Move it along, right? So yeah, if uh, whoa, uh I forgot about those people. All right, so all the agents got moved around. <coughs> so uh, as we get closer to the end of this campaign, and uh, people might be thinking this is somewhat premature, but uh, no, I kind of have a feeling for how the campaign AI works and there's a, a point in my campaign always where I feel I've crested the bridge at uh, the wave the the biggest onslaught the AI is going to throw at me and once that's defeated like this is it this is Lithuania's last stand uh, it's just downhill from there you just can steamroll the AI and we'll see that as I march through Kiev until they finally present the the one army that they have somewhere since we've kept a good eye on them the whole time. It's the it's the people in the Far East that we're not going to be too con too sure. I, sh I was going to say too concerned, but we are concerned. Too sure about. But uh, I'm hoping that we can just steamroll this area as fast as possible and get through this. Novgorod is fun, although the higher difficulty would have made it far more interesting right now which is far doable. I wouldn't mind doing it again on the higher difficulty, but that's what I was going to break into. All the, um, we can start putting down ideas for the next campaign. <coughs> Could be on a different Total War game. Uh, Empires, Napoleon, 
Shogun, Rome. Um, any of them that I, I'm going to play are going to be Darth modded uh, to the newest patch that's out and available. And uh, yeah, so I would like uh, input on what factions to play and even what game. I don't. It really doesn't matter. I will play them all. Even if you wanted to see Medieval 2, your just regular kingdoms, or anything. I enjoy this Total War series to the fullest extent, I have to say. So now these guys are stuck. Is this going to be enough just to wipe out these uh, three by themselves without the face card? Two, four. It's only going to drag in these three, not this guy. I, well, me. <laughs> I don't think it's going to bring him in. He's just a face card. I mean,. So they didn't send any of those guys out. That was something of a mistake on their part. And I can't get these around. That's not you need to get on there. That's money. Which we've done very well with making money on this uh, campaign so far. Alright, so it's just... Yeah, we're doing it. I'm going to hit the one over here, which should eliminate the lowest left one. All right, I've never seen that happen before. We swapped places. Really? Wait. Oh no. Okay, I was like, why? <laughs> I thought we switched places, but now it's it's just him that I'm trying to hit. <laughs> oh, what the? How far can he go back? Well, that's all right because it's just I'm not gonna have to fight them. That's just really funny. There we go. Um, I'm not even gonna bother this. We're really trying to move along. It's the prince there and this captain with two guys. I mean, yay! We lost 56 men, and I'm gonna execute every one of them. I don't even care. So this one guy lived there. And nine, he made it all out. He didn't get killed. <laughs> That's so silly. All right, now. <clears throat> and we hit this one in the middle. How the hell did it squeeze through? Is this ridiculous or what? These guys have just been moving all over the place. Oh, uh, it didn't bring in my reinforcements from behind. <laughs> We're going to do this as quickly as possible. We're going to throw the Mongolian tactics at them. And if everyone's been watching the Takeda campaign, I have been doing quite well with using the Mongolian tactics. So uh, the, we'll just, these guys don't have the range that uh, some of the other units have, I've noticed. But uh, we'll do our best. Which is usually pretty good. We're just going to get right into this. We want these guys to go forward. As fast as possible. And the general. We're just gonna. You know what? Actually, just stay there. I don't even. We'll have plenty of time. Plenty of time. You guys are going down. Alright, just stay in that tight, nice knit box here. So you get bombed by the arrows. And we'll just spread out a little bit. Alright, there you go. Alright, come over here. Shoot them and shoot them. <laughs> Alright. And here you have it. There's not a whole lot of options for them. Um, I'll control the running back action. But, uh, yeah. What can they possibly do, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a little bit faster now. Haha, <laughs> you made it. <laughs> uh. See, they can shoot backwards. Nice. Poor sh uh, Shogun 2 units can't do that. Uh, I'm not really understanding. I don't know, I don't know why. You know? How hard is it to spin in your saddle like that? That's the whole point of these units. Mobility. Speed and the agility. I mean, it's just a harassing unit. You can't harass. Jeez. 
Jeez. So we're gonna potentially use these guys here to get some hit in here, maybe get some experience. That'd be good. Catch these guys. No, you're not gonna catch me. Oh. And so they get cocky, right? What are they doing? Shaking, huh? Shaking in their boots. Let's go over here now. See, so they're still going to be shooting at them because they got the fire wheel on. You know, I, I love it. Come on. Both of you two get up there. And damn. Wipe that unit out. Just make this. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will. Mighty Lord above, we have uh. captured the enemy army. Oh, we're gonna continue to wipe them all out. Alright, let me finish them off while you guys stop. Ah, shooting. Relax. There we go. And done. Okay. <laughs> one guy. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that one guy must have been uh, one of the, the missile calves that probably got shot by one of his own people. Alright. So. Alright, so that's the way that's working. We won't hit that. We'll just sit here and wait. They can't get through. And then we'll hit this next turn for sure. This we can get up. Well, I don't even care about that Lithuanian spy. We need to go and make sure the Polish stay. See? This is. Well, they're not going to make it in that, but not worried. Uh, this is where I want to start squeezing units out from to add here. Okay, we got quite a give me this entire thing. The Kievan Rus. I take one more chance to squeeze money out of them. And maybe even map. Can I get the map information exchange? This will be better to sell to somebody else since I'm going to kill them. Yeah, they're gonna give it to me. There we go. Yeah. Now I have full vision on Kingdom of Kiev here. Yeah. Yep. See, that's what I'm really not worried about. That. <laughs> Three units. It's just two family members. See, that the king's got to be out and about somewhere. He maybe he's down below, but. 51%. We've got these three guys over here just not able to do the job here. Oh my gosh, it's been three times. He just can't do it. It's terrible. 104, 60. Oh, we're just going to go straight for that apple. You could go to that. Actually, he could probably make it here and go there next turn. That's fine. So we'll get a little bit of money now. And you, it's 14% worthless, and this is 14% is also worthless. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we're going to walk you this way so I can see that there's nothing here. That's right. That's right. I don't even care about this. I'm going to leave that for uh, some juniors to take or something here. It's not at all important since there's no one there. And they're clearly going to try and attack me here. Uh, ten units, though. It's not. I'm not concerned. Got a lot of archer power to shut on the wall. Actually, I only got two, huh? Well, I got these cool units, and this one, and this one. These are pretty good. And these two are good. And the juniors, well, juniors are good. We can retrain. Uh, in case we give them armor to everybody. 
I don't need to spend any more money on units, so we'll do that. I'll give the armor to this. Who do we want to give it to? I want to give it to this guy. He's already got. Oh, he's just going to get some more units. He's not full. Nope, he's full. 151. What did I build? That's just leather tanner. That's weird. I'll give it to them. That's fine. It's not going to make that big of a difference. We've got uh, more than enough to do the job. Yeah, see what I mean? This whole army. I guess we can steamroll down to here. This would be a good idea. We're going to move it out. <coughs> what are we doing here? Retraining? That's not going to work. We're going to take these people. What we will do is leave this behind. And we're taking it. Oh, I guess. What am I going to leave? These guys, since they're weak. Oh, can we take everybody? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just fine. There'll be units in there next turn. No worries. Alright, this is going to be the walk that way. So we'll take this large town first and then go for the capital. Or should we just break the capital since it's got the more, most units right off the bat? It's probably the better idea. That's what I always say. Kill the bigger pile first. Oh, he went inside after talking to... Yeah. Where's no gonna leave? Where do I get some of the better units here? There we go. Get another one of these spearmen. Get a couple of those. Yeah, and no guard can pull in what? The senior us and oh, senior mounted militia. Oh, these stats. We'll take them. And these. All right, and off to here. Your training capabilities, huh? Everyone can get up to leather action. Can't, yeah, okay, we're just gonna do that. I always start with the infantrymen first. Usually, missile ones don't have to get into that melee fight. What do we want here? Nothing that's gonna make instant money, but we could take the brothel will give us, no, it doesn't give us population growth. Bakehouse will. What do we need here? We're getting close. We don't even have a leather tanner. Oh, jeez. How brutal. Alright, we're just gonna throw in. React. No, yeah. We'll do this so we can get. What did I just make? Yeah, it's cheap their stuff up there. I don't think we're going to get to it, but I don't really care. It's just going to play defense for now. Oh, man, I don't want another spy. So this one's going. Can't kill him. That's really lame. That's ready for next turn. We got lots of stuff being built. Just throw that in there, huh? More army. I can't throw these guys quite out yet because I can't put anything back here. So, <coughs> we're buying what we can here. Alright, where's that other guy? Diplomat on the roll. Did we already talk to, say, Venice? No, but I think we have. Yeah, target public. That's where you're going. I don't care about anybody else. We're just going to go because I want to get into destroying Lithuania. That's what I'm going to do. Don't talk to me, people. Don't talk to me. Just slowing things down. I'm trying to wipe out some factions here. Oh, they got some help. Uh, oh, that poor Polish priest, cardinal, bishop, whatever he just was. 
Why are they coming over and turning Pagan? <laughs> yeah, see, he's trying to go around. He knows he can't win, but, uh, well, Regal will be dead by the time you come back, buddy. Yep. And snow time. Beautiful church. Very nice. Oh, there's Slanter and Council. Alright. Oh my gosh. You know, local pre I, I don't care. It's interesting that I'm getting this, though, I guess, in some orthodox. It doesn't really matter. Off you go, priest. Learn something. I, you know, just throw my wealth around. Don't care. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, well, our relations are poor. Why? <laughs> You're walking through my territory, and there. What? I mean, if they would have gone this way, I would have hit him right off the bat. But uh, he can't. Ha I can't attack me, and he's got nothing over here. That is not smart, dude. Really? I mean... Seriously? You guys better uh, think about what you're doing here. There's no way in hell I'm losing this. I mean, I can get army to here uh, before they can siege and go inside, so I'm not concerned. Not concerned. Who should be concerned? These people should be concerned. Oh yeah, we're gonna get another spearman while we get down there. What's this? Two? You're just splitting up some army. Not worried about that. So let's try again over here. What's our 18% uh, chance? I need an assassin. This is terrible. Do we have that option anywhere? No, not here yet. How about... No, no building option here. Get the inn. No, but we're going to go communal farming. That's Someone else has to have that built already. Nope. Brothel. Brutal. Vilnius? Building brothel. So that's not going to make it. Alright. What the hell? Get out of my way, you rebel army. We're gonna take uh, two of these ramps in case one burns, and you know, just for fun, we'll take three. Not that we need them. I wish that we had regular. Oh, we have one regular bowman because they got the low wall. It's not the one they can stand on. At least I don't. Maybe it is. It's not though. You can shoot right over it with the regular bowman, and that very good percentage killing. Wow. These pagan priests are way better than uh, my priest. What are we doing here? Not doing a very good job. Alright, we got some units back here finally. What we got here? Family member, family member. You got no experience. You're way older. Off you go. Take these ones. I know they're the expensive units. Wait, maybe not. We'll just put together an army to go up this way. Yeah, you stay there. Just sit there, right? Take a seat. Take a seat, huh? Just take a seat. So this got extra units to stick around, be happy. We got a lot of time before anyone's gonna make a move here. But I do want to just keep basically buying more infantry, but that's not good infantry to buy, so we'll not buy any of that. This is not great either. Let's go for another priest. Apparently we're not doing well here. 51% chance. Oh, finally! Finally! Unbelievable. Took him three tries. Three tries. 9%. 13%. Unbelievable. I wonder what the return percent is. I mean, like, to them to kill me. Should I stay there? Should I run away? You know? I'm seeing here. Hold in. What you got? Nothing. Okay, that feels good. 
not worry about that. That they just moved in a single guy. Okay, that's gonna help out. We'll get it there. And everyone else, I can't just take care of except for you. Yeah, so I would like trade rights. Um, it's balanced. We'll just go. I'm not concerned about. S yeah, bearing that, he wouldn't even give me a hundred bucks. No, that's demanding. That's cool. That's cool. I like to get some map information maybe from you. It's balanced. What do you got going on around here? Oh yeah, you give it to me. Yes, we did. What do you give me? Five hundred bucks. Yay. So Venice hasn't really moved. That's cool. And now I can talk to the Byzantines. That's cool. I'll just sit here and talk to them. And I'll go talk to Rome. <laughs> See now, Rome is a place where you don't need their map information. You'll just sell mine to their to them. And I have a lot to give them now. So I've seen all this for them, and they can only see this. Unless someone else has given them map information, but I doubt very much that the computer is doing that between each other. And if they are, well, that's one clever computer. But I bet I can get something off them. I don't know. They got money. They're just sitting around with lots of money. All right, so we got to move this army, right? We want to go. I don't want to sit. I want to move. We can leave maybe just one of these crossbow militia. No. It, well, yeah, this is the army's taking up 40%. Let's. We're going to need more than that, though. Can I get any mercenaries? Oh, it's already yellow face? Just, oh, shit. You guys kicked me. It's already on low tax rate, too. Oh, they're just not happy. Oh, I guess he won't be able to move for just this moment. And he, he's uh, providing a lot of public order right now. So, we will actually have to kind of find some army from elsewhere to move down. Yep. Go in there. That's building army. We're not going to take from that. That's going to go north. Yep. Yep, yep. Money, money, money. Alright. So we got to pay attention to this, uh, this army right here. Where... You're going to have to come back here. Yeah, that's not a concern. But we got to keep an eye here, though. And you moved, so we will be moving on this. And we'll figure this out. We're going to get to it. Waddle down there, little spy. Waddle down. Yeah, this is most likely going to be an hour episode. I really want to take a good chunk out of this, uh, out of this game here. We're going to wipe out Kiev. Or we're going to at least get a good representation of army in their territory. <laughs> oh, look at that. Poland got beat back. So that, look at that. They retreat. So Hrodna, will, nice, is providing a good buffer right now. And, you know, if Poland wants to beat themselves up there a couple of times, then we might just look to wipe out Poland, too. There's no reason why not. We still need 25 regions in total. So I will take them wherever I need can get them. That's you know provides the uh, tactical advantage to us as we move on down to Constantinople because we have to take Constantinople as a city requirement. Bing, right there. We need to hold Constantinople and keep, but we're obviously going to get that. I have not so Haradna damaged and beaten down. They lost a good couple units, I think. Hopefully they can hold out another attack. Yeah, all right, that's not too important. We want to jump into this. Here we go. Yep, you're gonna die. This show marked the end of Lithuania. Right, we are optimistic on this. feeling very good we got good units here and if the wall is the low wall and they are really screwed yeah all right the it's it's a funky setup but our cavalry can shoot over it and we saw last time 
units up here on this hilltop we can shoot inside and we can actually start over here this time this is really cool we'll break up our army though um, so yes we need to drop 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 oh jeez I need to see the ram to put on a new person give me uh, I don't really care I, the soldiers are going to take it so come over here and you can take this ram right here and there's another one I don't need this third ram but like I said well I'm back up alright and these let's see they're probably easiest for them to run up on the other side too but we're gonna leave them here for now I want you and you and this over here yeah we'll go up this way though and it's that was a lot funny last time so we need a ram over here I need infantry that right back up ram infantry king general sorry put you over here start the battle take you This is awesome that I figured this out. I hope people pay attention to this. I mean, it's unfortunate that this isn't the most watched uh, videos, most watched series, or you know, set of videos that I put up. More people are watching the Takeda campaign, which is fine. I don't, you know, that's cool. This was a uh, mostly personal campaign, and uh, for my good friend Swift, I wanted to see the Nov Garad, and uh, so we're pushing through it. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot where I was starting with that. But um, we're going to shoot these guys down here. Uh, I'm going to wait on the rams, but we'll speed up the game actually so I can get these into position faster. You guys will go here. They don't have any archers or anything to shoot me with. It's just going to set up real nice. Get there if you don't mind. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of—I'm still thinking about what the next one will be, and I would like to get the input on what you guys would like to see in the next campaign. Um, most likely, well, I think I would kind of like to do maybe an Empire's campaign, maybe an Empire's campaign. That could be quite a bit of fun. Man, are you guys... Okay, we're doing it. We gotta go faster. Get up here. I was hoping I would be shooting arrows by now. We're gonna wipe out everyone that's on the lower platform here. Hey, everybody. All these guys. These guys will probably come get some. Anybody. I mean, there's just no... Uh, they have no archers to shoot back at me. So where am I... These guys will need to use, too. There's no reason not to be using everybody. Uh, they don't have the range, though, I bet, to shoot here. And I don't want to get pegged by their towers, unnecessarily. So come over here. We'll find a way to get them on top of this over here. This is doable. See, it's too much of an angle to shoot my guys. No one's getting injured here. So everybody, uh, everyone's giving them some good action. What are you guys doing here? Having a tough time? Oh, I thought they were holding daggers. For a they, they moved right up on me. It's funny. That they're standing right here, not back. Or, I mean, they got as close as they could get to get pummeled. shoot Watch those guys. Last time we made somewhat of a mistake by not killing the general early on. 
for that morale. I mean, we could have really dumped their morale on them. But we want, let's see, these guys get the most experience, which means they're going to do the most damage. And we'll get you guys over here. I hope that works. And what else can we do? I don't know if they're going to have the range to shoot over everybody like that. Probably not. And they might even be in range to get shot by that tower. Oh, well, might get blocked by that that hill there. All right, so we left <laughs> all the channel's bodyguard dead here. That's I might take that down. Three units of close range arrow shooting here. All right, so let's put you guys back on shoot these guys. I want the arrows finish them off. Wow, there he goes. All right, so you guys can't shoot them. That's funny. They actually got themselves in a good spot. Yeah, I need a drink there. So did they abandon? No. We know we're not going to lose too much going in on the wall once we break it. Uh, I got the units spread out. This guy actually was named after this town. That's funny. Lithuanian guy taking Riga. That's interesting. Oh, I got you know the Teutonic Order is not here yet, so <laughs> they, that's where they smash in, though I think. That's where they like get off the boats and say, "Hey, no way." Right? No way. Uh, this guy's taking forever here, huh? What if... Come this way. No, I mean, if you can come and stop right here, I bet you can still shoot in. Alright, what's your situation? Can you guys... Waste your arrows on this. We need to, uh... Find a way to shoot them. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Get him. <laughs> get him. Uh, get him. Get him. Get him. Uh, there you go. All right. Uh, you guys. You guys just had to run across the front here. Huh? All right. Is it? Can I hit them? Pretty tall. It's not good. I'm looking for the one arrow shooting out. Oh, hey. What the? We are on your dog. Take it easy now. You know, that's probably a, uh, getting shot we in the back of the head dog. here. Alright, just all of you shoot at that one, alright? Then we don't need to do anything silly. We just keep shooting at them. We are on your dog. Both of you can shoot? Okay, cool. Alright, let's just pummel them out here. I'm not getting hit at all. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Whoops, didn't mean to. Uh, huh. What just happened here? There you go. <laughs> they sent their general out. He killed almost 10 of my guys already. Come on now, stab this guy. I'm not sending anybody else to help you. Yeah, uh, you're not getting back in now that you're... Oh, you screwed that one up. Alright, we're going in, alright. So I guess I can take these guys. Try something. Alright, those guys are gonna go up the wall. And then what I'm gonna do is get them over here. And maybe I don't know if this is a good idea actually. I want these guys to move off. As soon as this gets open, we can come in. Maybe I don't want to take them. Maybe that was a mistake. I doubt you guys can fit up here. <laughs> yeah, right. Let me just sit here for a moment, alright? 
got to readdress what I'm doing. So, we're safe in our ammo. Can we hit them? Is that even... I mean, it's not really a great angle. I think I shouldn't make you guys shoot. Don't shoot. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Just you guys. Alright. Hurry up on this gate. Alright, we're not letting them go out the door again here. I gotta. Uh, they're thinking about saving them? Is that the plan there? They're gonna go out that door. That's gonna be funny as hell. Come on now, get up there. And you guys run over there. Get back there. Moral support now, right? As soon as that gate goes down, I expect them to go, and that's when we send those in. We can kill this general here. It's gonna be really funny. We lost three guys, four guys standing there. It's amazing. Rid of that ram, right? Drop that ram. There we go. All right, let's go, Spearman. You can do it. All right, shoot those guys. Of you can only do it. In we go. What? Oh, it's because of stupid. There we go. We don't need no stinking loose formation anymore. I'm on inside. All right. Now, what happened over here? I really want them to uh, do the thing where they crawl around the side here, and I can <laughs> shoot the hell out of them. <laughs> we want you guys. What is this? What the hell? Get in there. Alright, we need uh... Ah, they're too big. Alright. Get you over there. And... There. Alright, and... You guys can go, right? Come on. There you go. Right, right on top of them. And you guys can just go in between them for right now. Okay. Everybody get in. Okay. And you guys do your thing. So, yeah, I should have had them shooting sooner. That's right. Really, I can do like that. Whoops! I forgot about you guys, huh? All right. Like, why am I breaking that wall down? Well, I'm not gonna walk them all the way around here, and I'm gonna speed up the time, so we'll get through it. Don't worry. We'll get through it. We're gonna go for a full engagement at some point up here to make this go fast too. Well, with arrows. <laughs> with arrows, that is. Because we have the cavalry to run around and do such sort of thing here. Let's see. Do you guys. Smallest unit. Alright. And. We're gonna have to egg him down the hill. That's what we're doing.
Oh, they have some crossbow, huh? That's right. <clears throat> Get up there. I might have to use more than, uh... Oh, there goes the prince. More than just one unit at a time. Really? Uh, yeah, try and hack down my guys in the move. But not even one guy went down. And they're still shooting with arrows. Come on, take the bait. Down he goes. Wow. Come on, make sure we're still shooting. Who's that? There goes the Grand Duke. Rigmadonamadonala. Rigmadonamus. Donatus. <laughs> Get out of the way, you. Yeah, don't worry about shooting. Worry about running, okay? You just don't like to run away from enemies when they're in skirmish mode and uh, the fire at will mode. If you turn those off, the units will respond much more faster. Just gonna remember to turn it back on. But here it goes. Open up, everybody. Open up. All right, the gate. Hurry up and ram it. Look at that, they're gonna go in for it, shaking. <laughs> oh, and routed as soon as they went in. Oh, just stay put right now. Right, I mean. Come on back. Well, that's awkward. Oh, you're out of ammo, huh? Guess you're just out of range, huh? Can you just scoot forward a little bit so you can shoot? What the hell's this situation here? I know, they're like in an awkward spot. They're not like on the map completely, but... Alright, I'm gonna have to bring in these guys so they're closer. And, alright, we'll just drop this down now so I can get all my infantry inside. Alright. Get you guys as close as possible. Hurry up and get in here. Ah, the funky hill. You just need a little more zoom, so it's not such a big deal. Oh my gosh. Those crossbows are doing some serious damage. There's, there's one general's bodyguard left, or is he an actual? No, just a bodyguard unit. This guy's dead. Come on down. Alright. Come on down the hill. Let's go. Get him in the range. God. Wow, that didn't help their range out at all. So they can shoot at him like the. Ah. We're gonna have to get closer to that even. Alright, we seriously need this to go faster. Everybody that has ammo, come on. Get in here. Get in here. Why are they charging? Oh, well, that worked out. I thought they routed. But they're shooting each other. I hate when they do that. Come on.
Let's go. Hurry it up, right? This is taking too much of our time, this little battle. I don't care if I lose a couple of these guys right now. We need this to go a lot faster. He ran out of ammo. Alright. We have him coming in. I don't know why they're going into a combat engagement like that. Just got the arrow out. They still have ammo. I'm not pushing alt. I'm not forcing the hit alt. See how it puts the sword out? Sword. Alt forces melee attack, but they'll still shoot if you have fire at will on. But at least you can force missile units into a melee charge. Alright, so what do you guys say? We're sending infantry? Screw this. We're done? I say so too. Infantry, what, minus you guys. Forward! Alright. Get the hell out of the way. You guys are going to stop shooting in a brief moment. Stop. Stop. I, what? Get out of here. Where are you? Just get out of here. Go away. Like, seriously, go away. Why are they still... That was stupid. I'm trying to get our infantry in here, damn it. The hell out of their way. Stupid morons charging in like that. Mirror, present up here. Giant spear wall. Axe wall and everything in between. Let's do it. Kill these ones. Yeah. Everyone still form up here. <laughs> right in front of them. We're not even dying. I haven't lost a single guy right there. Just wiped out that unit. Look at him. Alright. This isn't. No, no, I didn't want to do that. I don't care that I'm playing on fast. Everyone die. Go in here. Back. That is a madness right there. See how fast it happens? Woohoo! at a billion miles an hour. Casualties are not that bad. Looking at our units here. So we lost 10 more. Yeah. <laughs> Comes the general for the last part. He's not going to make it. Some horse. Oh, there it goes. I see I lost 105 guys. Hey, victory! Very hard difficulty, my arse. And the, if you're going to try and defend against those tactics, you need archers to stop someone from shooting over your walls like that. That's the whole point of having walls so that they can't shoot in and this makes it easier for you to defend. Well, pfft. not when someone uses your uh, outside around you to your disadvantage there. And it's, uh, yeah, we'll just occupy this, and they're not happy, and faction is destroyed. Part one of our goal is completed. Okay, there we have it. Why are they so angry, though? Oh, the religion. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that, huh? Right. Yeah, we're working on that. We gotta get some priests over there. It's no problem. Um, you guys were going down, 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 down. You were going to make some army here, so you might as well just continue. So we got a lot of men here. We'll just dump the taxes, 75%, and we'll build, obviously, small church. And we'll put in this so everything is stacked out as soon as possible and make it as good as we can do. Um, we don't need anything here except for I'll make another one of these units. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, I think. No, we'll make another priest. And what else we got? North Garage. We got all the options here. We just want to continue with the money making goals right now to continue our funding for the army that pushes us forward to get this puppy done. So that's going to be worth a little bit. Usually this is worth a decent chunk, but it hasn't quite been, but it's cheaper. We'll do that. 
You know, people are like, yeah, I get better units, better units. We don't really need better units. You can see how we've been destroying everyone around us as is so far with the units that we have. Uh, they're pretty decent. Um, most of the units at the beginning sometimes aren't great, but this is a late era camp, late era campaign. So we've uh, we're not using the crappy crap peasants to get to start with on the early era campaign. Um, yeah, just just terrible, right? That's too bad. Where is you? Hey, hey, hey! Come on. Do we want to redirect and take this? Oh no, this is where we want to go. That's where they have their stacks. That's the action right here. 11, 11 unit card army. We're going to go down here and take a look because we've got, well, definitely options. Right here. So, yeah, they don't like us. Right? That's why he's the faction leader right here. And oh, would you look at that? It is the low wall again. And that is unbelievable. Usually. Well, uh, usually the AI keeps units organized, same types next to same types, so to have these all spread out like this kind of makes me think that this is mostly all juniors right here. They've just been buying juniors, and it's probably because they don't have the other building types to build here. It's still low-level crap. But if there is archers mixed in between there, then we'll find out. But you can see how even when I buy, you know, sporadically, it kind of puts like units together. So we'll do this. Just in case they get any funny ideas to come out, even though I have no juniors. No juniors. I mean, these are archer juniors, but uh, everything else is um, an upgrade for sure, right? Uh, that's funny. Uh, um, so we're going to buy this because we <laughs> like these mercenaries. And next turn, this place is dead for sure, right? Going down the tubes. And then next, we will put in here... And we'll come and take this from behind. And what happened? Oh, they went back. This is what we want. I mean, we want them to stick around. We want them to stick around. It's all mostly horse. See, this is why they're not coming to attack me. Uh, this is a castle. You know, I got a stall. I got a tall wall. It's not the low wall. And I'm going to shoot them from the wall. And I have the spearmen to stop them from coming in here. So this is going good. We're going to put another Eastern Spear here, and I'm going to take... I'm going to do them, because they've got almost 50 percented, but they've got two Chevrons, and then we'll f do the rest there. Yaroslav, what's up, man? It's a big house. Keep the money rolling in. We don't can't build there. How about that? How's that? Vilnius? Can't do anything here. Retrain this. That's good. Those units were weak. And I wanted to talk to you. Yeah. Good trade from you right now? Cool. And they have money. Thanks, bank. Thanks for giving me a thousand dollars for something you don't need. Right? And then we'll go talk to them next. Bing, diplomacy tributes, 1,000. Okay, that's that's awesome. All right, so we're coming up to our hour marker here, and I was hoping to get a little bit more done, but we have wiped out Lithuania. We have an army ready to go sack our first Kiev settlement. Our second army is being squandered by the fact that it has squalor to overcome before it can move out and then we'll wipe out the western sections of the Kiev here these two sections right here actually those are our two next points and then the last one will be that stupid little fort they have on the north side so we'll cut their feet out from underneath them and then take the head at the end a suitable husband here yeah, you know, we're coming close to breaking our money, our bank. Okay, Denmark is dead. First harvest in well dug. Oh, the monks. Yep, reaching layers of strata containing water under pressure. Oh, cool. The technologies of the world time. 
Let's see. And done and done. And marriage celebrations. Right. Now, we got this up to yellow face. That's good. We're not going to do that right now. I think everything else is pretty much in order. We'll move them in to there. And our <laughs> stupid human army is walking away because they know they can't do what they want to do there, which is try and attack me. And here, we are attacking the neutral faction. Oh, hell yeah! Taking them down. Okay, so they have the tall wall, so they'll uh, have to uh, go up and over, but that's fine. We'll just take our time. Uh, this is going to be, we'll just do this. Because uh, I don't think, if it's all juniors, then it's really just, I mean, I mean <laughs> we could wait for them to come out, you know? What do they have? Seven turns? It might take a while. They might come up before that, too. Peter gets antsy sometimes. So we'll start that. We'll just leave this right here for part 13 of our Novgorod campaign. And I uh, probably will back-to-back -back part 14 and maybe even 15, uh, which will, might all come out tonight. So for surely tomorrow, there will be a Novgorod bombardment. Of the, the, so uh, thank you all for watching this campaign. And the comments, thumbs up, um, keeps it going. It's uh we're we're doing very well, well too well and that's why we want to try and get through it and move on to the next one. So of course if you have the idea for the next campaign, let me hear it. I want to know it. So uh thanks all for watching and snowhood out.